Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Today we're gonna to be talking about modes. So modes are how you move from one set of tools in ACDC to a brand new set of tools. Edit mode, specifically, is used to create something called composition images. And what I mean by that is you can take multiple pictures and combine them together and sort of use specific parts of one image and certain parts of another image to create a composition, something that is entirely new. A good example of this is you can take your foreground from one image and your skyline from another image and combine them together so that you have your foreground from your image one and your skyline from your image two. This is an example of something that you can do using edit mode to create a composition image. Edit mode is indicated by the icon at the top right. Edit mode is a filter editor combined with a layer editor. We will explain what these two things mean. When we open up edit mode, we can see the following. A filter menu on the left side. This filter menu is destructive, meaning that after you edit contrast, for example, and save your file, you will be unable to go into your file to see how you've changed the contrast and then tweak that value. You can, however, open the image and begin to make wholly new changes to your image, including further contrast. But the actual system itself won't remember the settings you've previously applied. In professional and home versions of ACDC, the filter menu in edit mode will be your only option for visual edits. What we will be talking about today is layers, which is only available in the ultimate version of ACDC. Up at the top, we can see a variety of tools. They are broken up into sections. Move tools that help me move around the base image. Selection tools that help me make selections that I can use for a variety of functions. Shape tools for adding shapes and text. Fill tools used for painting and making spot adjustments. Actions used for recording adjustments so they can be played on other images. In the center, we can see a preview of our image. Below, we can see a film strip of the images in our catalog or folder. And finally, to the right, we can see the AI Actions panel, Layers and Adjustment Layers. Layers and Adjustment Layers are non-destructive. This means that provided I save my file in a non-destructive file type, like an ACDC file, it will be possible for me to change individual edits in my image. Using layers and adjustment layers will allow the system to remember the settings that I've previously applied. Let's do a very simple sky replacement to show off layers, non-destructive adjustments, and masking. Notice my image layer in the layer panel. Let's rename it. I'll right click to rename. Next, let's click the Select Sky AI action. This will do the selection process for us. But note that if I need to make a manual selection or clean up a selection, I can always use the selection tools talked about earlier. Our sky is selected. The red overlay indicates the active selection. Let's mask the selection. This is how we will eventually replace the sky with a new image. To mask an image, we need to click on the mask button located underneath the adjustment layers. First, let's deselect by clicking Alt D. Next, notice the mask thumbnail that is added to the right of my image. This mask thumbnail tells us some extremely important information. Masking is a very powerful function of ACDC. Masks will be a combination of black and white. White indicates a portion of the image that is turned on, aka visible, and black shows a portion that is turned off, aka invisible. Invisible parts of an image are displayed with this checkerboard pattern here. This checkerboard pattern is only displayed when there is nothing else to show beneath it. I'll click the mask thumbnail itself and then a mask properties box will appear above the adjustment layers. I'll click invert. Invert will make the previously black areas white and vice versa. Next, let's bring in a new sky. 
I'll click add a file as a layer from beneath the adjustment layers. I'll navigate to an image and click open. When we add new images, we have to move them and often expand them in size. I'll pull the yellow bounding boxes and click commit. I'll add a white balance adjustment layer. And lastly, I'll take my sky replacement image and move it beneath my base image. If I want to make changes to this image in the future, I can save it as an ACDC file. That will hold all the layer information so we can tweak values later. Thanks for watching. Please check out the other mode videos on their respective pages.